opponent tonight was President Trump's White House communications director. Here's what you need to know. He calls himself the Mooch. That's it. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Anthony Scaramucci, everybody. <laughs> mooch, can I, can I call you the Mooch? You can call me the Mooch. Mooch. Anything you want. I'm going to call you the Mooch. I want to talk leaks. Last week, White House aide Kelly Sadler said of John McCain, it doesn't matter, he's dying anyway. That's rough. I mean, that's uh, obviously an inappropriate thing to say. It's, uh, you know, I think she apologized in private, and there was thoughts about her apologizing in public. I have no idea why she's not apologizing in public, but it would be a good idea for her to do that. But, come, yeah, so why, but, yeah, why, but think, why doesn't she come out and apologize? Well, I think the president has had a long-standing feud with uh, the senator, and I think, uh, you know, there's been a political feud there. Um, but, like, as I've said, that he is a... American patriot. You don't have to agree with him politically, but the truth of the matter is uh, we have to move past it. And I think you are catching wind that the White House has uh, got a bunch of leakers in there. That was a hit job on Kelly Sadler. Now, raise your hand in this room if you've never said anything that you regret. I know I have. I mean, one of the things that I well, said... I think a lot of it's on tape. One of, one of the things... Not a lot of it, thank God. So, some of it. Thank God a lot of it isn't on tape, just a little bit of it's on tape. But, but, the, but the truth of the matter is, you know, people do, you know. So people say I, things they regret. They say things they regret. And so hopefully uh, they won't fire Kelly. She's great at her job. She's been very loyal to the president. Oh. And she's not a leaker, by the way. So she's a classy person. Well, what like is the her. issue with these leaks that are coming out right now? It's a bad culture. You know, you've got a, a group of people in there that really only care about themselves. Or they don't really care about the president's agenda. Um, they obviously are all anonymous. They do it surreptitiously. It's a currency with the journalists. And so uh, they call up the journalists and they leak nefarious things about each other. I mean, the fact that they're having a conversation about leaking and Sarah Huckabee, who I think is an awesome professional, says, OK, I'm going to say something now and it's probably going to get leaked to the press. And then the exact words that she's saying gets leaked to the press is a sign of the rampant dishonesty that's in the system. It's or that like, she can see into the future. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I hope she sees good things for you and me, baby. Fingers crossed. See, yeah, I, well, this I'm the, feeling the, pretty good about it, though. You, you like it? It yeah. feels good. Yeah, no, I, I like our report. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Moach, it yeah. feels yeah. comfy. Yeah, Jordy. <laughs> Go ahead. The left is going to push back, and they're going to say these leaks that are coming out of the White House, they're emblematic of a, a larger problem, that they come from on high, that people are upset with the president. Is it, do you point blame at, uh, at what the environment Donald Trump's so, creating, I mean, John a Kelly? Lot of, a lot of these guys got, got into the White House. They were astonished that the president won. Some of them were, frankly, booking. Who are a lot of these guys? Who, you know, it's, it's, it's no... Come on, no, you like this report? No, come on, who are the no, guys? I got, I got, I got to be honest with you. I, I would be very happy to name them, but I'd have to look at the roster. I, I don't really remember uh, from six, eight, nine months ago. Mooch. That's the truth. Mooch. That's the truth. See, this is this yeah. is the problem. I yeah. like to name them, but no, come no, on. I'm happy to name them, but I just don't remember. I, if you show me the roster, I can pick out the leakers, and you can put the two dots. You don't have to be Carrie Matheson from Homeland to figure out who's doing the leaking. Okay, it's very easy to figure it out. So, okay, let's say so. Say the, so, but here's the problem. Okay. The, the culture got set up that way by Reince Priebus. He flooded the place with never-Trumpers. He flooded the place with RNC people that don't like the president. And so now they're going after the president uh, 18 months into the presidency. And so it's nonsensical, and those people either need to stop, and there needs to be a forcible change in culture, or they need to be removed. It's really that simple. But so what do you do? If you, the mooch is back well, in the White had, House. If I had 12 days, I would have fired three or four more people. As I was say, yeah. And then if I had 15 days, I would have probably fired another three or four more people. And then I guarantee you that the leaking would have stopped. Uh, mooch, I want to talk about Sean Hannity. Big news yeah. article came out today that he's almost talking daily with President Trump. Mm -hmm. Do you like that? Do you like to see finally the, Trump finding his people in the media so he can get his message out? Like the big hamster? I thought he was talking. I thought, I thought he was talking to you, Daly. I'm, like, very disappointed. I'm checking in with him every now and then. You are? Yeah, yeah. Does he like that hairstyle? I mean, yeah. I don't know. I mean, that's... The man is I mean, obsessed with hair. Impressive. You know that. Yeah. I mean, the way you're doing that, though, is, like, fantastic. It's, like, right up there with the Donald. You... you really, good. really? I like it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's how... If you put a little bit of an orange highlight in there, I think I can get you the comps job, actually. Really? Yeah. It's just a little bit of an orange highlight. It'll be fantastic. Look, I love Sean. He's one of my best friends. Uh, he's close to the president. 
Um, I, I don't think it's any problem for him to be talking to the president. I think you know and I know anything after 8 o'clock on these networks are opinion pieces, and so Sean's loaded with opinions. I don't think they're looking at him the same way they're looking at other people in the news organization. Having said all that, he, I think he's a, a very, very good investigative journalist. I think he's uncovered a lot of things. But, is it, but do you think that's – is it, you know, the left is going to push back. They're going to say that mm -hmm. like, he should be talking to experts and not journalists with opinions or opinion makers who say they're journalists. Well, I mean, listen. Or I mean, you guys, Sean you guys, Hannity. You guys, you, guys don't, you guys don't like it. I like Sean. I think Sean's a very accomplished guy. He's, a, he's been a brilliant entrepreneur. And uh, he's but, close to the president and his family. I don't see the big deal. Talk, we're yeah. talking about the old gang. Do you ever get to yeah. see the old gang, the Stevie Two Shorts, the self filator or uh, rancid penis? you ever get to see I mean, Stevie him? Stevie Two Shorts, why would you call him that? Because of the self filating Well, he's self filates yeah, but he's got, no, he wears like, the two shirts. I like the sloppy Steve thing. I think that's fun. Adolf, I like calling him Adolf Bannon once in a while. I think that's fun. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. Well, that's what he's like. Yeah. Well, that's what he's like. I mean, just pay close attention. Do you talk to Donald Trump? Once in a while. Yeah? Does he ever say anything about me? Yeah, he <laughs> loves your show. Yeah? Yeah, if you get, like I said, if you get me your resume, I think you and John Kelly would get along unbelievably. Yeah. Yeah. Probably as well as John Kelly and I got along. Mooch, tell me something I already know. Yeah. Uh, you're going to see uh, peace in the North Korean Peninsula. You're going to see full denuclearization of the uh, peninsula. And you're probably going to see a deal with the Iranians at some point. A good deal for the United States. That I already know. Anthony Scaramucci, the fight continues.